Triple H comes out for a promo, and he talks about all the records they set at WrestleMania, 21.6 million gross sales sponsorships. If there's a record, we broke it. And he says, in just a few short weeks, yes, it is time for the WWE draft. Is that the silliest thing in the world, considering that, like, the Usos and Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are on every show every week? Dude, everybody just goes show to show. Yeah. But now we're going to have a draft where he says everybody is eligible. Yeah. So what does it matter? Well, it sounds to me like what that means is we're going to call some people up from NXT finally. That's okay. why they're saying everybody is eligible. But, like, why we're doing a draft and a brand split when, honest to God, the second Triple H took over, they stopped, like, the hard and fast brand split. They didn't have the stupid rules like, you know, each brand gets five guys they can switch, all that other stupid shit they did. It was just, if you need to be on this show, you were on that show. If you need to be on this show, you were on that show. It was the best eight months, like... There's no there's no indication in business that life is better with a draft. If anything, there's evidence that life is better without a draft. But now we're going back to well, the draft the thing, again. I mean, historically, and it has been a lot less in recent years because people go back and forth and people know the draft doesn't really mean anything. But still, the draft show does usually draw an above average rating. So... They're doing it has, it. but I don't even think the last one did. The last one, no. The last, the last couple ones did not do any. Yeah. They were, uh, they were above normal. Because people but not know much it's ab- bullshit. Yeah, because people know that it doesn't matter at all. At, yeah, at this point, it doesn't matter at all. That's why when they announce it, it's kind of like, all right, whatever. But it's like, what does it mean? It's like everyone's on every show when they need to be. So it's, what does it mean? Then we had a Judgment Day promo. With uh, Rhea Ripley and Finn, they're all talking about you know the Aren't they raw matches. People? Uh, yeah, I think I think I don't even know what they are because it doesn't they're raw, matter. They're they're raw people. Kevin Owens is a raw person. Sami Zayn's not, but they're a tag team, so it doesn't matter. No. Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why You're does he do that? me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes. Someone needs to put that to music, some 70s song, for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. Boo. You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.